Hi, my name is Jacqueline Wolosianski, and I'm a speech language pathologist. I've been an SLP for almost seven years now in a variety of settings. I've worked in acute care hospitals, skilled rehab, outpatient therapy, home health, as well as preschool and Head Start settings. I truly love what I do and I love helping people, which is why I wanted to create this YouTube channel. Thanks so much for watching. All right, so we've talked about a lot of things so far and we need to kind of go backwards a little bit. Um, I know it still says vocalizing in speech, but we're gonna go to some one-step commands, which ties into receptive language, which is understanding the spoken word. Um, so for example, you know, a lot of times Parents want their child to say a lot of words because tantrums suck. That's our way to communicate. We need speech to understand why that child is tantruming, what they want when they're hungry, why are they crying, what hurts if they're not feeling good. Um, but the underlying thing, we've talked about attention. We dove a little bit into vocal play because that's a skill that happens younger. We talked a little bit about first words, first sounds, um, but another thing that ties with as those power words start to come out, our first true words, is our receptive language, which is our understanding of words, um, our ability to follow one-step commands, which could be sit, stop, no. Um, it doesn't mean all the time, but just at least seeing that hesitation, that pause. Um, also being able to follow, you know, say you're reading a book, um, again, we have to get into this more later, you know, but it might just be whale, point to whale, and you take your little kiddo's hand if they're 10 months, if they're two years old, and you point to whale, whale, you know, mommy whale, baby whale, whale. I'm not going into all the concepts I could say of whales swim in the ocean, and there's a huge mommy whale, and look at that little bitty baby whale that stays right by mommy whale, right? I am not getting into that right now. This book could be used until the kid is four or five to talk about so many different concepts, but right now I'm just focusing on point to whale because that lets me know they know what a whale is. It also means I'm repeating that word enough that they're hearing whale, whale, whale. So at some point, hopefully they're going to say that. Um, you know, as we keep going, you know, fish, fish, point to fish. They do that. So you get it. I am not right now reading any of the words on this page. I'm just focused on having that child identify, which they can only do if they understand the word or the item I'm talking about or the animal or the object or the picture, and they can do it by pointing. Okay, so we can flip through, you know, point to birdie. Again, right now, I personally am not saying exactly what that is. I'm generalizing. That's okay to me. There's some research about, you know, specifically calling each thing if it's a spotted seal if it's a sea leopard, if it's a, you know, baby beluga whale. I typically don't do that to start. My kiddos have all been fine. Right now I'm just working on pointing to a simple object, them knowing what I'm saying. Um, that's one example of kind of showing some of that receptive language. Another might be, you know, take block, block on, you know, take block, block on. Um, it could be take off. Take off, take off, take off, right? So that all again, I mean, these same toys I keep showing you guys on purpose because you can use something a thousand different ways. You do not need to go broke shopping at Target or Walmart or TJ Maxx or Amazon Prime buying a thousand different things to work on these tasks. Um, especially for language, a ball, you know, throw ball, catch ball, roll ball. You know, give to mama, give to brother, give to sister. Those are all ways to work on one-step command with a simple thing, a ball, that a lot of kiddos love, girls or boys. Um, so we don't need to think of spending money. I promise you have things in your house you could use for all these tasks. But again, you know, you're working at a one-step command level. So that would be throw ball. It's not get the ball and throw it and then come over here and sit down and then we're going to eat lunch. Okay, that's something for a three or four year old maybe if that child's at that level. But if you're working at a one step command level, it's just throw ball, get ball, roll ball. And I'm talking in a phrase, right? I'm not using a whole sentence right now of you're gonna pick up the ball and throw it. Okay, now you're gonna roll me the ball. 
If that kiddo is not talking yet, they need it condensed right now. It does not mean they're going to speak in broken English for the rest of their lives. But right now, we need to foster and help them hone in on what's important. I'm teaching them a verb roll. I'm teaching them a verb throw. I'm teaching them a verb catch, right? This is a ball. Those are the two things they're trying to focus on right now. Hope that helps. See you guys next time.